Today, I'm gonna to show you a super simple method which you can use to never have to pay for large language models or AI models again in NA10. That means when you're creating agents, when you're creating automations which use AI, you will never have to pay for AI credits. You're gonna be able to use open AI models for free. You're gonna be able to use uh, Google models for free. You're gonna be able to use uh, DeepSeek models for free. You're gonna be able to use some of the new like uh, Kimi K2 from Moonshot models for free, plus loads of other models too. And it's super, super simple. We're not talking about self-hosting or about uh, local hosting either. It's way more simple than that. So let's get straight into it. We are using a tool called Open Router. You may have heard me talk about this before. Let me go back to the homepage. Here it is. What Open Router is, is it's a really cool bit of software, which essentially allows you to access any AI model out there by any um, AI provider just through one API. So if a new Chinese lab comes up with a new model and you wanna try it out, you don't have to go off and create credentials with them and create an API key and then add credit to their account. And you have to think about whether I should be giving money to this Chinese company or are they just gonna take my money and you know not give me access to the LLM. You don't have to think about that at all. You just come to Open Router and they will have the newest models, the best models, which you can use with just one API key. Also, you only have to deal with the billing through one platform. So rather than adding money to Google, adding money to OpenAI, adding money to Anthropic, whenever you wanna use these models, you just have to add money to Open Router. However, what we're talking about in this video is not having to use money. And that is exactly what you can do with Open Router as well. So first, let me talk about how you can set up Open Router, and then we'll talk about the free side of things. So you wanna to come to openrouter.ai, create an account. I think you could do this with Google, so just create a Google account or create an account with Google. Then you want to come over here and click on keys. And once you're in API keys, you wanna go create API key and give it a name. I'm gonna call it delete because I'm gonna delete this after this video. You can add a credit limit if you want to. So if you want to make sure that you're not using no more than you know $5, then you can add that in there. I'm just gonna create this as it is. And it's gonna give us our API key. I'm gonna copy this. Then we wanna come over to NA10 and I'm gonna create a very, very simple little flow just with a chat trigger um, with an AI agent. Where we go, oops, there we go, agent. And then for our chat model, we want to have open router. And there we go, open router chat model. And that is gonna be the intelligence that we connect up to the chat model. And this is exactly the same if we want a uh, text summarizer or information extractor, let's pick that one. Um, we can also connect this up to there. So we can connect any AI related thing in NA10 up to uh, open router. Okay, so within open router, we will open this up and I've already got an account, but let me show you how you create a new one. You just go on create new credential and simply paste in that API key that we just copied from um, Open Router. And there we go, the fantastically green connection tested successfully logo or little banner or, or whatever it is. Okay, so once you've done that, you now have access to all of these models here. You can see here we have got access to let's have a look, uh, Jamba. I've never heard of that one. We've got Deep Coder, which I think is the new. Actually, I'm not sure about that one. Um, we've got some ones from Amazon. We've got Anthropic, obviously. Uh, we've got Ernie by Badu. We've got um, DeepSeek and all of the ones from DeepSeek, all of their reasoning models. We've got Gemini and Google and uh, Google's open source ones as well, Gemma. Uh, we've got uh, Liquid. We've got Meta. We've got Microsoft. We've got Mistral. We've got OpenAI, obviously. We've got NVIDIA hosting certain, certain models. We've got Moonshot, so Kimi K2. Um, just loads and loads here that you could you could want. We've got GPT-5, um, so we could GPT-5, there we go. So actually I'm gonna select um, one of OpenAI's open source models, so the 120 billion parameter one. Actually, let's go with the 20, 20 billion parameter one. There we go. Um, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna open up the chat and I'm gonna say, um, what is the capital of Italy? I give it a second and it'll come back and say the, the capital of Italy is Rome. There we go. Okay, so that's open router working. You're probably thinking, how do we make it free? Well, if you open this up and you go in here, if we type in free, we'll be able to see that there are loads, I believe they're like 56, 57, I counted them the other day, models that we can use. We can use DeepSeek for free. We can use Quen for free. We can use um, GPT open source for free. We can use Kimi K2 for free. We can use Mistral for free. We can use Llama for free. We can use Gemma for free. We can use like so many for free. And all we have to do is simply select on that we want to. So I'm gonna select 
Um, I'm actually going to select the OpenAI one again. Um, so if I go here and go free, so we can see it's got the free bit after that. And I'm going to say, what is the capital of India? Send that off. And we can see, we can just check that this is working. Although, you know, we got the answer, we can see that it's working, but we can check that it's free by going in here and going to the model and we can see it is the free model that gave us that answer. So in order to get this working, you only need to do one thing on Open Router. So you need to go to privacy and there is a downside to this. The downside is you kind of have to give up your privacy. In order to enable the free models, you have to turn on these two settings here. Enable training and logging, um, which means essentially they get the information back, the provider gets the information back. And also you have to enable that providers may publish your prompts, which is not fantastic. Um, but if you want the free models, then that's what you've got to do. So obviously this does not work if you're working with sensitive data or with client data or with information that you don't want shared. But for a lot of applications, it's fine, where it doesn't really matter the information, it's not sensitive information. You can use it for free, which means you can really cut down on the amount of credits that you're spending with all these different providers. Once you have these two turned on, then these models are going to work. All of the free models are going to work. Now, there are some limits to it. A trusty Google AI overview has told us that if you have less than 10 credits, then you'll get 50 free responses a day, which is still pretty useful. A lot of people won't use 50 responses a day. Perhaps you've got um, one automation which looks at your emails and then gives you a summary of your emails. That's one response. So you can run 50 of those a day without paying. But then if you load 10 credits, which I think is $10, onto your account, you can get a 1,000 responses a day for free, which is really cool just for paying $10. You don't have to use that $10. You just got to have it there. So there we go. That is how you can use large language models within NA10 on any of your automations absolutely for free. There are some trade-offs that you have to take into account and think about whether you want to use it for every application, but it's very useful, especially for applications where the data doesn't matter too much. This is where I use it. If you want to learn more about building AI agents, either for your own business to make your business more efficient or for clients and selling those services, then I do have a mastermind. The link will be down in the description where there is a big community. Uh, we're not big. It's actually very small at the moment, but it is growing. Also, a load of courses about how you can actually use AI to make a difference within businesses and make a business more profitable, how you can learn everything to do with NA10 and you get absolute access to me for any questions that you have. If you're interested in that, then do check out the link in the description below. That is it from this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, do like it if you have liked and enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, then please do subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.